Alrighty. Uh, my apologies. It did actually cut out. That's fine. Um, back where we left off, we left off with the, uh, skid in construction, trim rates, it's a tad bit better, we're almost done anyways. <laughs> This is taking a long time. Alright, we're finally done. Okay, so to top off construction on the skid, just get your transmit program ready. And this time we're going to do a special command. Transmit.mode.combine. We're going to do transmit.ice.1. Transmit dot ice dot two. Transmit dot ice dot three and transmit dot ice dot four. So all for the ice towers and then build dot exe. And see we have a countdown. Just transmit dot skid. Transmit.exe. And there's everything. It's built. Alrighty, so just as we recap, there are some, there are like very few small things we didn't touch on, but all in all, we got to everything and we did every single command that IFSL had to execute, so. Alrighty, and I guess... And I believe the program reboot should fix the latency issues we had. 
I hope it speeds up. Or else I might have to overclock, which would suck. Oh yeah, that's fixed it. That's definitely fixed it. Everything's much faster now. Alrighty. So. Uh. Map dot mode dot skid. Uh, I'm assuming that in the future we'll just open up like the hollow web. Map dot mode dot Lyoko brings you out to the Lyoko view map. Special. Yeah, that's fixed everything. Much better. Alright, so we'll send out our leader. Wow, perfect timing. Alright, so here's Perma Xanified William. His special ability is summoning monsters and uh, as well as uh, using like super smoke to move Alita around and stuff. So, uh, Kitten Tower. See the clone move. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? So William's ability. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. He's just taking forever. William's special ability is the ability to be able to yank Aelita out of towers. We'll see that momentarily. <laughs> You can see. And now, when we get into a battle, if we just like attack William, throw something at him, right? Boom. And now he'll start walking Alita over to the edge of the sector. And throw her in. <laughs> However, because it's Alita, if you remember from the show, Franz Hopper saves her. And the only reason why William throws her in the digital sea is to lure him out. Yeah. 
And France Hop is almost dead. Oh, come on. Weak. Only did half damage. It's ridiculous. Black Manta is not strong at all. There we go. That's it. Now France Hopper is dead. That's fine and dandy. Alright, and then the last thing we need to cover is uh, ooh, Frontier. Actually, we need to do the Frontier stuff. You can capture what it's like to be in the frontier. And that will be everything from start to finish. Incredible. Not even playing the game, and I'm just going through everything one by one. And there's two hours of content. So far. Isn't that amazing? That's what I call a well made game. Alright, so. So actually, just for fun, real quick, there's one thing we didn't go over. And that's actually if we just get everyone inside. <laughs> get you out, and then... Oh, polymorphic clone. That's why. We'll deal with him a little bit. Real quick, let me just talk about something. The uh, reload only works on odd so far, and it reloads his action points. So, yeah. And then... 
exchanging DNA. What this does is if there's a problem between two people and it's uh, about to kill them, you can transfer the DNA over and um, it will re it will transfer it to whoever and then it will reset the progress of the uh, how much it's killed them stuff like that so yeah Where is that polymorphic one? Should be here by now. It's probably stuck. It's whatever. So, so if we just divert, and then I lead out that divert. Let's see, is there something wrong? Leoka Warrior is in Frontier. So she's not dead. She will be uh, when she starts disappearing. You see that? How it's like fading away. You'll, it'll become more obvious. Uh, to fix that, essentially, you just go to a tower or up into Carthage's thing. And just... Ooh, actually, we need to be at a way tower. That's right. You can see how she's fading. Retrieve data. And you can actually have more than one person retrieve data at a time and it will speed up the process. Our leader retrieves data the fastest, but because we used her, uh, we'll have to just be a tad bit slower, but it won't take that long. And then one last thing to show you if I can get the polymorphic clone to stop. Alright, so what we can do is we just quit menu. Though you haven't seen uh, towers change color and stuff like that.
All right, loading will be done shortly. All right, so if we do visual, ever get out of the tower, watch this overwing dot by lead. Da, 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 da. And then towers, um, they can even change color. Watch this. See that? Oh, and by the way, you can activate more than one tower. I wonder how many can I check today. So I can activate one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight towers. Shut down. Yeah, so that's just a little nifty feature. Another pretty cool thing is, uh, so that's what four. One, five, and seven. Which is pretty cool. So yeah. The four towers thing actually does deactivate the tower though. Completely. Oddly enough I can get inside of it. So yeah, that's everything from start to finish. Hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll uh, see you all in the next stream. And when IFSL comes out with more content, I will definitely be uh, streaming that. Thanks for watching.